You know, before coming here, I was concerned that I would need some time to find my marks and that I wouldn't be as efficient for a week or so, but actually, not at all. It barely took me one day. We are capable to adapt so quickly, unlike we sometimes prefer to believe because we are scared to go out our comfort zone. But look at this view. You see, I already got used to it. No, that part is not true, but let's go back inside because it's getting hot. The thing is that it was so easy for me to adapt. It was so quick because I was well prepared. So if you are considering becoming a remote recruiter and traveling while doing the job, what should you pay attention to? So in our job, everything is digital and that's why recruiters have always actually been able to work remotely. That's not new. You have access to LinkedIn, job boards, your CRM, your ATS, your mailbox, the messaging tools, regardless where you are based. So all you need is a laptop, an internet connection and a phone and even a phone is optional because you can use your laptop to call. But the problem you may have is to keep a local number to call your clients and candidates while you are abroad. Because if you are using a phone number from the country where you are seeing most people won't answer because they will believe that it is maybe a scam a call center or that there is maybe some cost associated to it etc so how to fix that and how to call your clients and candidates in Canada in the US in the UK in France in Belgium in the Netherlands while you are in another continent so the first solution you may think of is using a traditional messaging app such as WhatsApp Viber Signal Telegram etc but it might be perceived as intrusive that's why I don't use it unless I already know the client or the candidate but it probably depends on your country and the culture the second option that I considered is Google Voice it is free very easy to install but unfortunately you can only get Canadian and US numbers so if it is your situation if you have clients in the US and Canada then that's a perfect solution for you. And the third option is one of the two solutions that I use. So it is Viber Out. Viber Out is a part of Viber. It is a service provided by Viber, the messaging app. And it allows you to call internationally. So the app has an agreement with local service providers. And thus, you don't need to have the app to receive calls or to be able to answer. It's a regular call. And so it seemed to be the perfect solution for me because it is really inexpensive, it is really affordable, you can get a landline and a phone number and it still works even if you change the SIM card to get some data with a local subscription, for example. You can even buy credit so you don't rely on data if you can't. It is so easy to install, it only took me three minutes and it works on multiple devices. So I use it and it could have been a perfect solution but it has a major flow. The number ID not showing. And that's a big problem obviously since it was one of the main reasons why I was interested in the app in the first place, being able to show to my candidates and clients to reassure them that it was a local number. And I have contacted Viber support but unfortunately they can't do anything about it. Apparently it depends on the agreement that they have with the local service providers and sometimes they don't display correctly the phone number or they are hiding it. So there is nothing we can do but unfortunately it happens way too often for me to rely on this solution only. Now, if what they say is true, it could be that depending on where you live, you will have a different experience. So it is so convenient, it is so affordable that you should give it a try and see. This is why on my side, I have to combine it with another tool. And it is a Microsoft product that we all know, Teams, and more precisely, their international calling plan. And that solution is really working great so far because you have a landline that is not related that is not associated with any phone number so you don't need a sim card to get a number as long as you have an internet connection so data wi-fi it is working you can call from your computer for a phone as long as you have the app it is working on multiple devices you can receive calls so personally it completely solves my problem but the cons are that it is more expensive it is also much more difficult to install and I will link below some tutorials from YouTube for you to help you. And also you can't send text messages and I like using text messages, for example, to remind an interview, etc. So I have to do it via WhatsApp or whatever, but it's not really a problem because when you reach that point, you know the candidate already. So I asked them before and if they are fine, we use that. And it has never been a problem so far. Concerning the price, it is difficult for me to give you an exact number because it depends on whether or not you already have a license, it depends on the package that you want, it depends on how many people you have in your team, etc. But for me, personally, it costs me around 50 euro per month, which I find is really affordable because, you know, it's 
really the only investment that I need to make to be able to be fully remote and work from another country. So this is based on my research and experience and I'm very happy with Microsoft Teams, but if you are looking for other solution, you should investigate VoIP solutions around virtual numbers, maybe Skype also, which is also a Microsoft product. So maybe you could also find a cheaper solution there. Also, if you are an employee and you are working for a staffing agency, probably they already have a solution in place such as Avaya, etc. because any staffing agency, which is a point where they have to develop a business remotely before they officially start an office in the country. So we are really used to that and normally we are prepared. And if you have a better solution, please make everyone benefit from it in the comment section. Before that, like the video and subscribe and see you in the next one.